Hey guys, today we're gonna make creamy mushroom pasta bake. I think the taste tester is going to like this one. I'm almost positive he will. Here is all those ingredients. Let's get into it right now. All right, guys, I always like to go over the ingredients. Hope it's not formulaic for you, but I think it really helps. And so many of you guys have, have been telling me that it helps you make these recipes. So we're using one pound of rigatoni. You could also use penne or ziti. We have two cups, roughly, of fontina cheese. I'm using Italian fontina, but you can use Danish too. The exact amount is a half a pound. I shredded it. If you can't find fontina, you can use mozzarella cheese. That would be a perfect perfect substitute, even though it's not gonna give you the same taste, it's gonna give you that same type of meltiness and texture. We have three quarter pound of regatta cheese. Uh, that's gonna give some moisture into this. A half a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese grated. Two cloves of grated garlic. Now you saw me use four cloves, but I didn't want to grate off my fingers. So basically each clove was like a half. You know, if you want to get really specific, that's probably about a tablespoon of grated garlic there. Uh, the recipe calls for three tablespoons of fresh thyme. I probably got about two tablespoons. And pulling it off, I probably could have done a better job with that. A little pinch of nutmeg. I love nutmeg and cream sauces. I've done it in a few different cream sauces, but I put it in the pasta Norcina. And if you haven't checked out the Norcina, I recommend you do, because if you're, if you're into this type of pasta, you're gonna love that one. Next ingredient that we have is spinach. So this was a half a pound of spinach and I just steamed it a little bit, squeezed the water out and chopped it up and then we're left with only that much. But I will still give a nice greenness to this and if you don't wanna use spinach, you can use kale, you can use uh, any green you want or if you don't feel like greens today, just, just omit it and it'll be fine. We have three quarter cup of heavy cream. So there's like this, you got the spinach, even though we squeezed the water out, you're still gonna have some moisture in there. The regatta has moisture. We need some moisture in here because this is a baked pasta dish without normally like tomato sauce, how you would do like a baked ziti with meat sauce or something like that. Trust me, it's th these amounts are good. You're gonna get a nice result with it. And then the star of the show are the mushrooms. So mushrooms are awesome in so many pasta dishes, but I think in this one, you're gonna like it because it's a little different. We're gonna roast these up with the thyme, little olive oil, and by the way, olive oil, salt and pepper, those are a couple other ingredients you'll need. So we had one and a half pounds of these mushrooms. These are baby bellas. I kind of quartered the large ones or even cut them into six pieces. And the really small ones, I cut in half, or if you have a really tiny one, just leave it whole. But you want them to kind of be like, kind of bite-sized pieces. All right, so I have two baking sheets right here. And we have all the mushrooms. I'm just gonna use a larger bowl so I can get the olive oil and the seasoning a little bit better distributed. I'm gonna use about four tablespoons, which is a quarter cup of olive oil. You can use regular, which I'm using. You can use extra virgin if you like. We're gonna mix it up, and if there's not enough, we'll just put a little bit more on. I'm gonna do one teaspoon of salt, and then about one teaspoon of black pepper, maybe a little bit less. Put a bit more in a second. And then here's all that great thyme. This is just a great way to do mushrooms. You could also use parchment paper here to make it a little less messy. And it's time, I didn't have enough olive oil so the time didn't stick so well. But don't worry, it's all gonna, all this is gonna go in the pasta. We'll like scrape everything out of there. So I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil here. And to get a little bit more surgical, I'll just grab my squeeze bottle, which will make it easier. So we'll mix it up one more time. If you wanna be um, a cooking bro, get your gl black gloves on or your blue gloves or whatever. But you know what, you're in your own house. So uh, unless you got your, husband or wife yelling at you to put the gloves on, you're good. All right guys, 450 degrees Fahrenheit and about 15 to 20 minutes. We just wanna roast these fairly well, get some nice color on them. We're gonna cook the pasta right now. My water's boiling over there. Use uh, two tablespoons of salt for your water. So just get at 1.25 to 1.5% salinity level. That's normally about two tablespoons in a gallon of water. We wanna cook this to two minutes less than al dente. So the box says cooking time, 14 minutes. Then it says al dente time, 12 minutes. Okay, they even tell you now on the box, but you wanna cook it probably to about 10 minutes because we're gonna bake this in the oven and then it's going to continue to cook. So if you cook it all the way, it'll maybe get a little tiny, a little bit mushy and you, and you don't want that. Pasta is about four minutes uh, from being to that two minute less than al dente stage. So we can put all of our stuff in here, all of our other ingredients for our baked pasta. So we got the spinach, the garlic, nutmeg. I'm putting in about a little bit more than a quarter teaspoon of it. Absolutely love it. If you don't like it, I um, I suggest you just you know back away from it. As far as the Parmigiano uh, Reggiano goes, I'm gonna do half. So quarter cup now, and then the quarter cup will go on top after. I'm just gonna try to mush that garlic into the spinach here a little bit, so nobody's getting like too large of a piece of the garlic. But that is why we grated the garlic to try to 
make sure that it can kind of get distributed everywhere. That is three quarter cup of heavy cream. If you don't want to use that, you don't have to. You could probably add like substitute some chicken stock or something like that to give you that moisture, but uh, so you have a little less fat. We're gonna add in uh, two cups or the half a pound of that grated fontina. Fontina is great cheese. And then the three quarter pound of the regatta, which, you know, what is that like? Probably a cup and a half there. Let's talk about today's sponsor, Gia. It's January and time to start fresh. Maybe it's time to take a break from the holiday overindulgence. For many, that means reducing or eliminating alcohol. But we still want to unwind, relax, and enjoy a delicious drink, and that's where Gia comes in. Gia is a non-alcoholic aperitif that's inspired by the Mediterranean and tastes like summer. Gia has no added sugar, and its flavor comes from plants and botanical extracts. Gia is great to drink by itself, but we also love mixing it to create mocktails. And Gia was just recently the first non-alcoholic brand in history to win Esquire's Drink of the Year. And for those looking to try Gia for the first time, they offer the first sip kit. It includes a mini bottle of the aperitif, two cans of Gia soda, one can of the lime and salt, and one can of Gia ginger, which we love to serve mule style with a squeeze of lime. It also includes a fancy pour spout and a recipe card. So guys, if you're looking for all the spirit and none of the booze, check out Gia. They rarely do discounts, but they're offering 20% off this month for my community. Use my link, drink, Gia.com forward slash sip and feast and use code sip and feast at checkout. And a big thanks to Gia for sponsoring today's video. All right, so guys, this is this is all of it mixed together well. Let's get all of this mushroom and the delicious uh, thyme in there. And you can see how beautiful the mushrooms are. Like, so I didn't I didn't flip them at all. So there's like. That's the bottom side of the mushroom. You can see how beautifully golden they are. And you know, it's just a simpler way of doing it instead of having to uh, mix them all up, but they look great. And I'm just gonna try to get all that time. You know, I'm thinking guys, if you do it, if you do have the parchment paper, do that because you'll be able to just like grab the whole thing and just pour it all in. Okay, our pasta. I needed a bigger bowl. It's like, it's like the life story, right? Your life story. All right, so I don't know if this is much bigger here, but I think it'll work. Try to get all that cheese. Oh, it's at the garlic when that's hitting that heat. That smells phenomenal already. I want to distribute this a little bit better. So this is time you get your <laughs> your bro gloves on and you just go in there and start doing it. Right, Tyra? What do you think about that? Be a little hot. Yeah, that's true. What I do want you to do though, even though that pasta needs a couple more minutes, we wanna taste this now. We wanna get our flavor right in our baked pasta before we, uh, while we still have the opportunity. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it doesn't need more salt with all this cheese, but we might wanna add some more pepper. And if you had extra time, then you would wanna put, put that in as well. All right, so I have a nine by 13 baking dish. This is the perfect size for one pound of this baked pasta. I'm not buttering the sides or oiling it, you definitely can, but since I made this a few times and it was, was good, I don't see a need to. You have a little bit of fat in this dish already, you know. We have the rest of the Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. I'm just gonna top that. We're probably okay here to use foil straight on it, but just for insurance, if you just go like this, just a piece of parchment paper, take your foil and just wrap it around there. And once you take this off with the parchment paper, there'll be no sticking and your cheese and everything will be fine. Sometimes if you're like, you're a little high in a pan and you have that foil on there, when you take the foil off, it's, you're gonna lose like so much of your cheese. All right, so 450, 15 minutes, middle of the oven, remove the cover, both the parchment and the foil, and then broil it. You're gonna cook that for five more minutes, then you can broil for one more minute if you want a little bit of goldenness, all right? Back in a bit. This looks phenomenal. For this baked pasta, or really any baked pasta, you wanna let it rest for 15 minutes. You could even go longer. You just got home from school, right? Mm -hmm. He smelt it and then he was like, what is that? Can I eat it now? And I said, you gotta wait because first of all, he'll burn his mouth, but a baked pasta is always better when it kind of settles more. But I think you're good now yeah. to try it. I gave him a few crispy ones. Like here, I'll give you another one. These are the best parts. Really good. It's really good. So, all right. Why don't you do? Why don't you do a rating and then you tell me about? You'll tell me about what you think. Okay. I got my fingers crossed on this one. I think I could tell by the. I just heard the motion of that. I'm. I have. I'm really, really confident now. <laughs> so listen, listen. All right. You know what, what first? Why don't you tell me about it and then you can, then you can give the rating. It's really good. Yeah. I, I really love. What do you taste the most? Mushrooms. Like. Okay, like what else is what else is predominant in Jeez. there? So I used Fontina and uh, 
Parmesan and and regatta. I, I forgot. I couldn't remember. Yeah, it's, so you got like you got like a baked baked pasta without tomato sauce. I like how the pieces are like crispy, but not like too crispy. I love that. I hit the broiler up the last couple minutes. Oh, I can see. Why don't you show everybody? Show the camera. Yes. <laughs> can you finish it? The mushrooms have thyme in it. Do you taste the uh, thyme, like er herby, like from it? Yeah. Yeah. James, there's one other ingredient in there. It's kind. It's a. It's a type of spice, like oh, a yeah. fall spice. Do you taste it? Nutmeg. Yeah. Do you taste that? Yeah. What do you think of that? I like nutmeg. I think you could use more. More, huh? Yeah. Put some on top. No. Oh. <laughs> Still that need to get is, an 11 up. I'll take a 10. I'm stealing one of these. Mm.